Hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be another mods video for my Tacoma over here. And as you can tell by the title, every mod I'm going to show you in today's video is going to take three minutes or less to install. If you're anything like me, your truck build is just never really finished. You have all these things to install just stacked up in your garage. But the good thing about today's video is that everything is going to be super, super quick. And I know a lot of you guys who watch my channel are new third gen Tacoma owners. So hopefully this video, like my other mod videos I've made in the past, give you some inspiration or just things you could do on your truck if you're interested and help you make the most out of your Tacoma. I want to give a thank you to Tecron for working with me on today's video. Tecron is a huge supporter of my channel and they make videos like this possible. And not only that, their complete fuel system cleaner is helping me protect my Tacoma and keep maintenance costs to a minimum. I'll explain more later in this video, but now let's get to installing some easy things on my Tacoma. If you have a TRD or limited trim third gen Tacoma, you have these amber turn signals on your mirror, but you can actually upgrade them so that they're brighter and they have a sequential pattern and you can get them blacked out to remove the chrome colored stock ones. These look great at night, especially if you have sequential turn signals on your headlights as well. They are much brighter than the stock mirror turn signals, and best of all, they are super easy to install. I got these plug and play dynamic sequential side mirror turn signals from Cali Raised LED. They come packaged to protect the lens, they are SAE approved or essentially street legal, and they have weather stripping just like the stock ones do. The only tool you'll need besides your hands for this installation is a Phillips head screwdriver. So step one is to pry along the tops and side of your mirror cap until it starts popping loose around the edges. And eventually you can move more towards the middle of the cap until it fully comes off. This is the first time I did this to my mirror cap so it was kind of tight but it still came off pretty quickly. Then remove these two screws. You'll be able to start to move your turn signal out, but you need to push this tab in so that it'll fully be detached from the black plastic piece. Once removed, unplug the connector. And then it's pretty simple. Just take your new turn signal, which should be labeled on the back so you know which side is which, plug it in and install it the way the stock light was installed. Pretty much just reverse what you did before. When you put the mirror cap back on, make sure it's aligned before you start pressing down on it to snap it back in. The edges should sit flush. There's really nothing better than installing lighting that's plug and play and this was just so easy to do. These are advertised to be three times brighter than these stock lights and just from in person, I think that's definitely true. I honestly rarely do modifications on my truck that are purely just for style, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. For this next mod, we have these beautifully machined billet tie downs that fit in the stock rails in the bed of the Tacoma. Now these are meant to replace the stock plastic tie downs your truck comes with because they have a lower profile design with more open area. These are from Charvonia Designs. They come in a pair like this. One side is engraved and one side is blank. There are mounting plates to slide into your rails for these, and this kit also comes with corrosion resistant grade 8.8 .8 mounting hardware, really nice stuff. The only other tool you'll need is an M6 hex bit. To install these, remove the M plastic piece on your factory rail by pulling it off. Slide the mounting plate into the desired position on your rail. 
Then fit the tie downs onto the mounting plate and use the provided bolts to secure it in place. Now you can install these logo facing up or down and what I like about these is they have a radius on the inside to prevent your straps from getting sliced. When you're done, just slide that plastic piece back on the rail. I have slowly but surely been adding on things and customizing my truck bed to make it the most adventure ready truck bed for me and enhancing it in a way that fits my wants and needs and a way that I can get the most use out of it. I've already started to, but you guys will see me upgrade some stuff back here and I have plans to cut in my deck to add something, but Anyways, these rail tie downs have been a really nice addition to my truck bed. They're really sleek and a very nicely machined piece. Not only that, but these are actually a better product in my opinion than the stock plastic rail tie downs that the Tacoma comes with. I put a little bit of force on each and the Charbonian ones can actually handle a lot more stress. And because of the lower profile design of the Charbonian ones, I'm able to fully fit the hooks or the ends of my strap around those ones, whereas I can't do that with the stock plastic ones. There's also another YouTube channel, Bros for Speed, and they have a Tacoma and they install this exact same product. In their video, they were tying down a bike to the back of their bed and they use these stock tie downs versus these Charbonian ones. And if you wanna watch it, you can see that the Charbonian ones were way safer. They seem to like them better and I agree. So if you're interested in checking out that video as well, for more details on this product, I'll have it linked down below. These rail tie downs are made by an enthusiast owned small business. So I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of them in my truck bed and I'm excited to have them. I mentioned earlier in this video that Tecron's complete fuel system cleaner is helping me keep maintenance costs on my Tacoma at a minimum and in case any of you guys are curious, let me explain how. So I've been using a 20 ounce bottle of complete fuel system cleaner every season or so to clean, restore, and protect my Tacoma. And no, this two and a half year old truck with 35,000 miles on it does not have any major mechanical issues because of carbon buildup or sludge in its fuel injectors. But take my 1992 Land Cruiser, for example, that has 200,000 miles on it. That thing used to get nine miles to the gallon and it severely felt like it had lost power until I started using Tecron's high mileage fuel system cleaner, which is sort of like the older brother of this guy and it's meant for vehicles with 75,000 miles or higher. Now my Land Cruiser gets 11 to 12 miles a gallon, which I know does not sound like a lot, but when you add up the prices, gas expenses are a lot better now on that vehicle and I can finally get up to speed on the highway and pass other cars when I want to in my Land Cruiser. So anyways, how does this all translate to lower maintenance costs on my Tacoma that's currently problem free? Well, since many of you know, I plan to keep this Tacoma forever. Deposit buildup, which is the issue my Land Cruiser could have had before, can be inevitable without proper care. So I'd rather prevent that as much as I can right now rather than spending more on fuel in the future because my engine can't work at its best efficiency. And of course, I wanna prevent any potential damage to my fuel system, which is what this product is great at doing down the line. Tecron's complete fuel system cleaner won't turn this Tacoma into a supercharged trophy truck, but it'll help extend its life and help keep it driving like it has from day one, and that is why I use it. I always think love your truck and it will love you. It really only takes a minute to pour a bottle of this stuff into your nearly empty gas tank and it will really pay dividends in the long run. Thanks so much to Tecron for keeping my Tacoma running great and for working with me on this video. Now let's get on to our last mod. So a few weeks ago, I made a video where I installed the DIR harness, or the Disable and Reverse Wiring Harness that's a plug and play mod to cut off power to my license plate lights while I'm reversing to stop the glare on the output of my backup camera. It's a great solution that I recommend to people who have this issue, but if you're looking for a lower cost solution to this problem, this next mod is definitely for you. Basically, it's these glare blocker plates that cover half of your license plate lights to minimize the glare you see through the backup camera. An advantage of these is that they're only a few bucks and they're super easy to install. They come with an alcohol wipe and each cover is labeled. 
The install is the easiest thing ever. All you have to do is clean your surface and yes, mine is very dirty and my truck definitely needs a wash. Then you remove the backing from the adhesive and stick down the plates at the top of each light. Now the camera view is improved and if you're wondering, you can still see your license plate with reduced lighting. Here's an image of a truck with both the covers on and its license plate. So like I said before, I kind of already have a solution for my license plate light glare when I'm using my backup camera, but I wanted to highlight this product because really it's price point and how easy it is to install. This product is from another small business and it's made by a Tacoma enthusiast who is just trying to solve an annoying problem. So I think that's awesome. Now with these, as you can see in my backup cam, you're still gonna get a tiny, tiny bit of glare, but it is significantly reduced. If you're looking for a solution that completely cuts off these lights while you're in reverse, check out my DIR harness video, which I'll have linked down below. But I do think these definitely help the problem a lot. You can see your license plate in the dark, which is obviously still important. And I love how simple it is. So which one of these mods was your favorite? Definitely let me know in the comment section down below and let me know what three minute mods you've done on your truck that you like. If you want to connect more with me, you can follow me on my Instagram. It is at Chloe Kuo Taco. I post more in real time on there. Thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.